Good afternoon, everyone. This is Catman Phoenix. It's Easter weekend, and uh, while the world is busy, or at least the Christian world is busy celebrating the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, I'm going to speak to you today about the death of Gary Tucker. We're going to celebrate the life and the death of Gary Tucker. And uh, as he was fond of saying in his Tuck Talk videos, the cycle of existence is composed of birth, growth, decay, death, and rebirth. Well, in way of explanation, I suppose that uh, Catman Phoenix is the rebirth of Gary Tucker. And we'll talk a little bit about those exciting developments a little later in the show. Gary was fond of telling people that uh, he had died more than anybody he'd ever met. And by that, he was referring to having traveled through that cycle of birth, growth, decay, death, and rebirth over and over and over again. Uh, perhaps in an accelerated fashion compared to your average person. Who's to say? There are some schools of thought which indicate that uh, as human beings that we go through this cycle in general, on average, every seven years, whether we like it or not, as a part of our developmental process. There are uh, events that can increase the rapidity of this cycle and uh, near-death experiences, serious illnesses, traumatic events. They can trigger, in particular, the death and the rebirth cycles. And uh, I suppose that's why Gary went so through many. As previously described, one life could be considered the uh, childhood trauma. Boom. And uh, from there, we have that monumental moment when the prison doors locked and his whole world caved in, not knowing whether he was ever going to come out or not again. Boom! Locked in a foreign prison for a couple years. Death. Rebirth. Relationships. Always, always did him in. Always did him in. As a passionate man who throw, threw himself and loved as hard as he could into all of his relationships. When they went through the cycle. When they, uh, they grew, and then decayed, and then died. He died, and had to be reborn again as a, a, single, a single entity. In search of wholeness, trying to, trying to unite with another human being and become whole. When those relationships failed, he was torn apart, and he died, and he died miserably. This type, this type of pain is known by a lot of people out there. For some, it seems to be more intense than others. For those who've uh, been abandoned along the way, the intensity seems to be a greater. The repetitive abandonment throughout one's life really gets to be a drag. It's akin to death in so many ways. People have always looked at the life of uh, Gary Tucker and said, Oh my God, you're like a cat with nine lives. You're like a cat with nine lives. All these unbelievably intense experiences and near-death encounters. And then a medical history with uh, the five heart attacks and the seven stents that we all know about and are bored of talking about. It's like, wow, you've got nine lives. After last weekend, and the near brush with death once again, Gary Tucker died. We'll miss him. We'll remember him. And uh, Catman Phoenix has been reborn. Reborn from the ashes. And who knows, maybe we're on life number, number eight at this point. That would tie in with my seven-year theory 
Eight times seven is 56. I'm 55. Close enough. So uh, if this is if this is uh, life number eight, well, we're getting near the end. That much I'm certain of. And personally, having uh, inherited this rat, ratty body, rackety body, and uh, all of these previous experiences and memories, which I'm fully aware of, having inherited those as my own, I'm determined that we're going to make the most of it. And uh, we've got some exciting plans that. Uh, that are gonna be real fun. Kind of getting uh, tired of all this serious stuff and we're gonna, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna blossom, okay? As you go through these progressions of different lives, one could compare it to a plant. Let's take a rose in a garden where you start off with soil and you add manure to it. That's another life. My God, I've had a couple of manure-filled lives. And then you plant the rose. That's life number three. And then the plant develops and the leaves and the branches grow and the thorns come out. There's another life. I've had that one too. Some people say I was a real prick at certain periods of my life. <laughs> but ultimately, with any luck at all, that plant gets watered and the water itself could be considered an, another life, the emotional life, the nutrients. And then drum roll, boom, the flowering, the blooming of the rose. And uh, that's what's coming next, folks. That's what's coming next. Catman Phoenix. The man with nine lives who's arising from the ashes of his own lives and destruction is finally going to bloom. And uh, anticipation of this, this happening, this momentous occasion, this growth, this beautiful expression of life and joyfulness that I've waited so long for and worked so hard towards. We're going to do a few different things to prepare for it. One of those is the uh, creation of a, a website and a web page. And uh, all of the writing that I've accumulated that is of any value or any conceivable value will be put onto this site. We're going to have a poetry section, a lyrics section, a short story section. And I'm considering writing a book that I'll present chapter by chapter as a way of motivating myself to complete that project and to develop anticipation uh, with you folks and get you excited about it too and use your energy to help me move towards the blooming of the rose bush, okay? I uh, would also like to tie that website in with um, my YouTube vlogging page and my Facebook page and then as a third element in something completely new um, I'm going to throw this out there to the world that I'm going to make myself available as a motivational speaker. And uh, there will be a means for people to engage my services as such. And uh, we'll see what comes of that. Who knows? It just seems like a logical extension of everything that uh, I've gone through up to this point. And Catman Phoenix freshly emerged from his uh, bed of ashes. Well, he's ready for anything. And uh, I look forward to sharing this journey with you people. And uh, I hope you'll tune in and continue watching me and support me. And we'll see what happens.